Welcome to Astro Gossip. I'm your host, DJ Astrologer David Palmer, and I'm with my co-host, Christopher Wateki. How you doing, Chris? Doing well, man. And I'm glad Venus and Jupiter are direct today. That means good fortune and good times ahead by all. I know. I really can't wait for that. And to start off this episode, we got a lot of relationships to talk about. Three of them. Let's yep. start off with our first one. You know, we got Prince William and we got Kate Middleton. Prince is a Cancer and Kate is a Capricorn. And what's even more crazy about this relationship is Prince William is putting on his mom, Princess Diana's ring. Yeah, I hope that's okay, man. I hope there's no karma in that ring. That's a little scary, a little bit. And, you know, Prince William is a Cancer. So is Princess Diana. It's mm -hmm. kind of funny, too, because, you know, um, you're a little younger, but in the 80s, I remember when uh, Princess Diana was getting married and that whole royal wedding. It's like deja vu all over again. And from a couple perspective, they're opposite signs. So you know what that's like. I mean, I know. they balance each other out, but at the same time, there might be some conflict there, especially for Capricorn, right? Mel Gibson, all these other Capricorns. I think uh, Pluto for Kate is going to be becoming royal. Yeah, really. And, you know, I just really got this crazy vibe off her. She's very conservative. Yeah. And the one thing that was really uh, interesting I looked up was Prince William and his mom, Princess Diana, both have sad risings. Really outgoing, really wow. fun and playful. We'll see how it goes with Kate. She's very conservative. Just, you know, if you're wearing that ring, get it cleaned. <laughs> 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 there could be some bad vibes. They say there's vibes and jewels. Like, get it clean. Do not go speedy through a tunnel. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. Well, our next relationship is Nick Lachey and Vanessa Manillo. They're uh, tying the knot. They're both born on the same day and they're Scorpios. Yeah, kind of a narcissistic relationship, really. They're falling in love with themselves in a weird inside-out way. You know, this is a total roll of the dice, astrologically, mm -hmm. if some two people the same sign. Certainly, if you're marrying your same sign and your same birthday, you're certainly interested in yourself. You know, probably a hugely intense relationship as well. But given where Scorpios are, you know, dude, with Jupiter going direct right now in their house of inner child, this will probably work. Scorpios are ready for true love and they're both feeling it. It's well timed. So I vote thumbs up. I think this is going to work. Yeah, it'll be interesting, you know. I did kind of do this show with Vanessa Manillo, and there was uh, her going out and talking about this on Jimmy Kimmel. She was right. just saying that they had a lot in common and that it really works. So I'm pretty sure it'll work. I actually don't want to give my personal opinion on this one. But let's move to our next relationship. <laughs> it's Jessica Simpson and Eric Johnson. Now, this is funny because it all ties in with Nick Lachey. You know, yeah. Jessica was with Nick, and they've kind of had this weird little battle of who's going to get married next. And and who the what their relationships are um Jessica, of course, is a Cancer. We got another Cancer getting married, and we got Eric Johnson, who's a Virgo. What do you think? I think, you know, this seems kind of shotgun to me. Um, as far as Cancers and Virgos, that's a great match. I've been saying for a long time, the Virgos are on the market. They're going to get snatched, snatched up by 2012. It looks like Eric's wasting no time. His divorce was just final in Libra, October know, this year. So I this know. dude is not wasting any time. Interestingly enough, though, the dude hasn't had a job since the 49ers. He dropped out of uh, business school to be with uh, Jessica, and there's no prenup, apparently. So this could wow. be kind of a, you know, a Britney Spears thing. Thing where he ends up with the kids and all the money. I hope Jessica's being smart. You know, she's running for that chicken of the sea again. <laughs> you know, like, so I hope she's okay with it. But, you know, those loony cancers, they're going to get what they want when they want it. You know, I can't get the grin off my face because I know exactly what this guy's doing. <laughs> and I got to give him some props. Good job, Eric. You know, hey, man, if it's Jessica Simpson, I know you're going to get the fame out of it. Now you're getting the money. Go for it, bro. I, I, I really, you know what? I like Eric. I don't even know him yet. And uh, he's a good guy. Touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> well, let's talk with uh, some TV stuff right now. We got Sarah Palin, who's an aqua, if oh. you all don't know. She, uh, you know, was going to be vice president of the United States if she got elected, but she didn't. But guess what? She's on TLC now. Ratings through the roof. Yeah, number one show on TLC. TLC scoring touchdowns themselves, actually, yeah. with uh, Sister Wives and now this. So good for TLC. They're finally learning, the yeah. learning channel. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, people want to watch Sarah out there in the wilderness of Alaska. I, You know, she's. it's funny. For a failed politician, she sure does freaking well. <laughs> yes, know? she does. Because she totally failed being vice president. I mean, in every way, I think in some ways she brought down that election with a lot of the controversy she brought out. She has a very loose mouth, but she has turned it into an empire. Uh, with this whole thing. So I'm interested to see how well this does. I don't know what sequel she can do next after Alaska, like then a center to the Amazon. Like what happens after this? But good for her. 
Uh, you know, the whole thing about me and Sarah Palin is she quit her job as governor. Yeah. And now she's doing this and she's doing this whole, you know, they're all saying that Fox Network, she might be a uh, correspondent there now. I mean, what kind of politician? I can't even believe she had the audacity to go out and be vice president. And here she is quitting governor and going out and rocking her life out there in Alaska. I mean... I'm I'm sorry, it just doesn't work for me. But I love Aquas, so she does have this cool, you know, innovative personality, which I really like. And especially for you know being a governor and doing it in Alaska and going for the vice president, only an Aqua could do something like this. Yeah, totally. It's an Oprah Winfrey move, so to speak. I mean, yeah. not with all. I'm Oprah. I'm not comparing it to her, <laughs> but I'm just saying the ability to take something and run, that's definitely yeah. true. So, mm -hmm. you know, kudos to her. And her children, too, are following in a weird way. Yeah, you know, Willow coming out, kind of protecting her mom, you know, going out on Facebook and making some homophobic comments. That's all over TMZ right now. And yep. then Bristol, you know, who's been on Dancing with the Stars, just beat out Brandy, who, you know, Brandy's a singer and dancer and everything. And, and this girl's 16 and already had a kid. A lot of controversy there. So the Palin family's all over the place right now. You know what you don't hear about with the Palin family? Hmm. Todd Palin, her husband. Like, where's oh, he? <laughs> it's, like, it's all with the women in that family. Yeah. Not there's anything wrong with that. But Todd, quit carrying the purse, man. Let's make some headlines. Yeah, you know, it's funny. He was kind of in the headlines only when the vice presidency came up. But you haven't seen him since, you yeah, know? No. But... You know, Bill Clinton was just recently seen in Bangkok. This is off TMZ.com. He's going to be in Hangover 2. I know. That is so crazy. Uh, apparently a cameo appearance. He's a Leo, which is the opposite of Aquarius, if you don't yeah. know. And Leos are on fire right now. So I think that's really cool. And uh, I think this is the first president in a movie since when? Well, Ronald Reagan did some movies, but as an actor, no, yeah, but like nothing like this as a cameo or anything. It's very cool. Very Leo. Yeah, and you know, what is going on? I mean, we got Palin now with her own show. We got Bill Clinton, the president. You know, we've got George Bush just coming out with his book and all over the media. I guess politics and entertainment are just doing a, a little breeding. Yeah, or at least we're being honest with the fact that, you know, politics are just entertainment. Really? That is true, too. Um, well, you know... Aside from entertainment-wise, we have President Obama, who just gave the Medal of Honor to a staff sergeant. His name is Salvatore Gunta, and this guy went out into you know Afghanistan. A couple of his buddies got shot. All they had were some grenades. They fired back with grenades. They stayed alive, and basically, this is the highest honor, and nobody has gotten the Medal of Honor being alive since the Vietnam War, so this is a pretty big deal. Kudos to President Obama, a Leo, finally giving away that award to someone alive. You mm -hmm. don't have to die for the country. And, you know, he's an Aquarius, by the way. Uh, so, again, like Palin, in the news, Aquarius is in the news. Uh, it's it's all about career this month for Aquarius. Yeah. Actually, if you're watching Horoscope, so Palin and this, uh, this staff sergeant, yeah. both career advancements. I know, and it's just so crazy to see somebody alive getting this award. This is an award you give to somebody when they go over their call of duty to save lives, to do something heroic. And so this guy got it. But, you know, he's making a big statement to America as well. He's trying to say that he lost his friends and that this war is, you know, not a good deal. So I'm really happy to see that. And, you know, finally, there's no more plastic bags in L.A. So that's our final story. That is the final story. A Medal of Honor to plastic bags. And, you know... Plastic bags are a nuisance everywhere, environmentally, and we were actually talking about this earlier. You were going to let us know about, uh, you know, about California being a Virgo and just leading the way. What he means by that is, in, now in Los Angeles, you can no longer take groceries home in plastic bags. It was passed today, and it's a very California Virgo move, again, being anal and saving the environment, which means we're going to have to pay 10 cents for paper bags out here. And once again, California's kind of setting the stage as a Virgo for the rest of the nation. By the way, just to kind of wrap up, Arizona this week announced medical marijuana is now legal. Arizona is an Aquarius. Yeah. So funny. And I think it's ironic that Arizona I was like, no Mexicans, but we'll take your weed. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay, Arizona. Uh, but anyway, it's kind of an interesting week for states and also for their signs. Yeah, and you know, L.A. is a Leo, so right. shining bright, wanting to do the right thing. And I guess Arizona is an aqua. 
You know, kind of crazy. It makes a lot of sense, though. Well, you know, even their policy on the border was trying to innovate the border policy, and they've got a prisoner thing out there that tries to innovate the prisoner system. Arizona's innovative. You know, it's why McCain went so far, I yeah. think, actually. But interesting uh, day uh, for California. No more plastic bags. They're trying to push us into bringing the recyclables. So Yeah, which, uh, you know, it's really good, honestly, to see. I'm really happy for it. And I'm happy if we see you guys back here on Astro Gossip. You know, we do this every Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, only on SoulGarden.tv. Soul Garden.